Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Meeple Station. In this episode, we'll be exploring some of the mods that are available for the game. But first, thank you to everyone that has helped me reach 100 subscribers on YouTube. I think as of this recording, we're at like 101, 102, something like that. But anyways, thank you so much for helping me reach the 100 YouTube subscribers milestone. I really do appreciate all the comments, supports, the views you guys have been giving me as we continue to grow and flourish this channel. In these last seven months, I have learned so much, but there is quite a bit more to learn as we grow and go for the 500 and then 1,000 mark for this channel. Now that the sappy, boring stuff is out of the way, let's jump into why you guys are here. Right now, there are 33 mods available on mod.io, the official Meeple Station mod website. I have a link in the description and should be popping up now on your screen. These mods are mainly furniture and aesthetic changes to the game. Uh, there's a couple that add some production lines, sort of. But again, mainly aesthetic, mainly furniture. Some of them work really, really good. Others a little buggy, maybe because they haven't been updated with the game. You know, the game came out two years ago now, and we're on, I think, version 1.0.6. Uh, I could be wrong on that, but I think we're on 1.0.6. So maybe they were made before this uh, most recent release. So some of them work really well, like I said, some of them do not. So just be kind of careful when you're using those. I have downloaded 14 of those mods to create Party Central on our Tooth One station. But before we head up to Party Central, let's check out a few of the mods I incorporated elsewhere in the station. First up, we have the Doors Extended mod. Now this mod adds two doors, one that is a single tile and another that is two tiles, and they are a force field door, kind of like the doors you see in Star Wars that glow red and whatnot. So these doors operate like a normal door, they're not anything crazy, it's not like if anyone you know, tries to go through them and, and they're not supposed to, they like fly into ashes or anything like that. Nope, just regular old doors, but they kind of give you that cool space vibe and you can see we have this big red squid blocking our view of this door. So let's head up here and this is the two tile space door, or excuse me, force field door right here. Again, just an aesthetic change, just a cool different door you can use. Uh, they do act as a barrier for air, as you can see, that does separate that like that. It's not like the normal doors like we have in the bedrooms upstairs where they allow air to pass through. The next mod we have is the runway light mod, which adds exterior runway lights to your doors. Now there's actually two tiles of runway lights here, and these lights, again, are more of an exact change, but they do give you a really cool view for your space station, really cool look, uh, and they give maybe they give those meeples just a little bit of extra help when they're coming back from mining outside or from these trippy space temple ruins um, just gives them that little bit of extra light to get back inside the station so they're not getting lost out there in space and Grimpod brought us the doors extended mod and lion wave brought us the runway light mod now on to party central why you guys are here so on tooth one station i have created the coolest the hippest the swingiest nightclub in outer space for our meeples to party the night away Especially after hard day's work where Officer Feather has been constantly nagging you and you just want to come up here and relax. So let's head up the ladder to Party Central. And here you can see take it all in in its grandeur. We got Iceberg over here running laps because it's so cool. By the ladder, you can see these fish tanks staring out, or the fishes in the fish tanks staring out at the dance floor. So instead of being eaten in your meals like they normally are, they get to watch you boogie down on the dance floor. And this was created by Jacqueline. Speaking of boogieing down, we have the Disco Infernal dance floor, which you can see here right in the middle. These flashing tiles allow your meeples to come out and dance, 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 and hold dance off after dance off after dance off. Again, just an aesthetic mod, but it's really cool. Allows for some extra, you know, nightclub space to be built for your meeples. Again, this is built by Link238. After burning off some of those calories, why not relax with this beautiful Nova furniture? These modern sleek tables, chairs, and counters come in four different colors and were created by, by Arcadiacs. And you can see here, we've got the green on white counter a white on blue counter, and then blue on black and green on black, as well as the tables and chairs over here. If that's not your style and you want to sit in something a little more 
interesting. We have these ball chairs over here. I really do like the orange and blue interior of the chair. So your meeple wants to sit and relax and kind of have a little bit of a private space, but also be able to look out on that dance floor. He or she can do that. And thank you to Chapelman for creating that. If sitting's not your style, maybe a round of Squid Invaders is more your speed. And over here in this corner, we have our arcade machine where your meeples can protect their station from the evil incoming squids, those ugly, horrendous creatures that have been going around our station and leaving dirt all over the place. So they can play around to that. Uh, this AAA title is brought to you by Raphael.lib. Or maybe they want to cool off with a can of Meeple Cola over here in the other corner. We have this beautiful vending machine reminds you of another brand of <clears throat> cola um, and they can grab a can out of there and ponder exactly why this plumbus over here by Grimpod is on the station for those of you that don't know the plumbus is from the very popular tv show rick and morty look it up if you don't know what's going on with that we also down here in this corner have the frozen alien brain Many meeples have tried to crack its secrets over time, but none have succeeded and all have failed. So that kind of rounds out the main part of Party Central. We have a couple more decorations. We have these uh, really cool hollow tables. Uh, we have the spinning cube and the rotating sphere. Almost looks like that's a planet. Can't quite tell, but those are pretty cool and those were brought to us by Arcadex. And we also have these posters, these space annoyed posters, have the red one here and the blue one over here, and those were brought to us by Line Wave. So again, that rounds out Party Central. Let me know in the comments below if you use any of these mods, uh, or if there's one I've missed and you want me to come back and include it in another video. So down in the comments, let me know. Now, lastly, like I said, I've tried to use a couple of the mods I couldn't quite get to work, and let me open up the module screen here. So I tried the Bro Broth Lithium mod and the Fuel Trade mod, both by Vox Games. Couldn't quite figure out how to use it. Not sure if maybe it needs to be updated or if I was using it wrong. So again, down in the comments below, please let me know how to use it if you guys have figured it out. Maybe, I, I, I honestly don't know. I've set it up multiple different ways, created large space, small space, connected it to every utility and just couldn't quite get any of them to work. Excuse me. Now remember, these mods can make things unstable. I was using the the cheat mode mod uh, that allows you to build anything for free and it was kind of messing with some of the the things you can build deleting them out or when you, you load in save and load back in it'd be something else so just be very very careful when using these especially if you are in the middle of that campaign that you are doing and you don't want to lose any of your progress so again if you've enjoyed this video please don't forget to like it comment on down below on which of these is your favorite mod and i'll be sure to respond and if you want to get all this great content on time in an orderly fashion, please don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me here today, and we'll see you in the next video.